I just wanted to come in quickly. I have been letting this boil. It's been about two, about two hours. And you can see floating in there are the um, pieces of um, corn on the cob and sweet potatoes, green peppers, and onions, garlic. Uh, I am a huge fan of the adorbo. Also black pepper, onion, did I say onion already? Onion, salt. And underneath it all, uh, remember when I went and got the 10 pounds of chicken legs uh, for $6.90? Well, within that is the chicken legs, which I have cut up. And then I took, I let it cook up. I threw that in there frozen, the legs with water and some of the spices. So now it's coming to fruition where, uh, a small spoon. And somewhere under there, yeah, there's some of the chicken. Oh, yes, and I threw in a can of, uh, just a can of carrots. Honey, see, see where the leg is right there? And I'm letting that fall off the bone. Um, I wish I had some sofrito. Next time I'm going to put this together, I'll show you how I make it. But this is going to be enough for me to eat for days and days and days. The other thing I added was the um, chicken flavored bouillon. In no specific measurement, I'm sure that uh, eventually I'll get this honed down to a better science, but I was raised in the kitchen where we really didn't measure. We could tell by a, a swirl of the spoon how thick it was and how much to add and just simply by tasting and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, that is my mock chicken stew if you will I guess you could say I just wanted to show it to you um, I just turned it off and now I gotta uh, let that cool off for a little while alrighty that is what is uh, I'm gonna be having for the next bunch of days I might freeze part of it but that is uh, granny's chicken stew if you will thank you so much for watching love you bye